Life goes up and it goes down I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around So little Good morning, y'all. Just coming on, getting ready to do something to this head so I can stop looking like the new Millennium Frederick Douglass. Um, but yeah, getting ready to do a little wash and probably going to straighten my hair out because I plan on going to get it braided. I've had so much to do lately with the arrival of the twins coming Monday. So I've just been trying to put furniture, get furniture built and just working and working my part-time job so it's really been hard and your girl woke up feeling it this morning i am super tired but i do have to work this afternoon so i'm just trying to get it pulled together um get some filming done today i really need to get some cleaning but i don't know if that will get done today so yeah y'all stay tuned sometimes you grow this is the conditioner as well as the shampoo the motion um conditioner and i did the motion of shampoo so now i'm just gonna put this conditioner in my hair <laughs> So yeah, I like to saturate my hair really good uh, with the conditioner. Um, my hair tangles a lot, so I have to be careful when I'm detangling it uh, because yeah, my hair has always tangled a lot. Um, and I just, I've tried a lot of different uh, conditioners, but I always find my way back to the to the motion. Um, it's what I use when I had a relaxed hair, and it seems to do very well with my natural hair as well. So yeah, I'm just going to put the moisturizer conditioner on there, and then I'm going to put a plastic cap on. And as you see, I do have a lot of shedding, which is one of the side effects of having VSG. But mind you, before I had the surgery, I still had a lot of shedding. I don't know if that's possibly from menopause, but menopause and the VSG surgery have done me so dirty when it comes to my hair. Um, but I haven't had as much shedding as some people. At least my shedding is very minimum and it's not as noticeable as some people. So I guess in a sense, I'm thankful for that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, like I said, get my hair combed out, um, and then I'm going to put a plastic cap on it and get some other stuff done while that just nourish my hair. So yeah, y'all, this is just like my wash routine. Um, not anything extravagant or anything. Once again, you can kind of see the shedding. Um, but yeah, not anything spectacular. I don't use any like fancy products. Maybe if I did, my hair wouldn't be shedding. But also I haven't been taking my vitamins as I should as well. Um, but yeah, let me just go ahead and get this finished up and detangled and I'll get back with y'all. Alright y'all, so today I'm going to be putting or attempting to put one of the baby's mini cribs together. It's going to be the Da Vinci uh, Dylan Fold Portable 3-in-1 Mini Crib. So I'm going to put that together today. Um, actually, I purchased one of them and Tavia purchased the other one. But at the time I ordered mine, I couldn't think of her address, so I had it delivered here. So I'm having to kind of put it together to the, I can get it to the point where it folds. And then I'll transport it over to her house and then 
finish completing putting it together. So that's what I'm about to do today. So stay tuned. Got conditioner in there and I'm trying to wash it and everything um but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get the baby bed or mini crib put together and of course this video is not sponsored and girl guess what I ain't trying to get sponsored by a baby bed because hopefully these are our last beds that we put together for a long time unless it's for Paige who doesn't plan to have any kids so I'm not even thinking about that. But yeah, let me go ahead and get this one bed put together. Y'all, I love when something comes with all the tools. Therefore, I can just use all the stuff and I don't have to worry about if I have that tool. And it looks like everything came in here. So I'm really excited about that. I'm actually gonna have to put my phone on the charger because it's about to go dead. So what I'm gonna do is kind of get some of this stuff situated um, and then I'll pick y'all back up when I get a little time.
blow dry my hair. So I'm going to use this heat protecting on my hair. Um, I don't really use heat protecting a lot because I don't really flat out in my hair a lot. So I don't know what's a good brand, what's not. You know, I'm still kind of learning, although I have been natural for a few years. Um, but yeah, I'm still growing and learning with it every day. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get my blow dry done. Also use this comb to kind of pull out some of the kinks, um, to make it a little easier for me to straighten it. So I'll go ahead and get that started. child i ain't got but about one fourth teaspoon of hair and that was a whole workout so now i will be flat ironing it next just trying to get it ready i know it kind of remind you of saying paper but you know what that's okay we're gonna work this thing out yeah so i'm gonna flat my iron my hair and it doesn't have to be super straight um because i'm just doing this um to get braids so, yeah, I'm just straightening my hair just to knock some of the kinks out of it um, before I get it braided. So, yeah, it won't be like bone straight, but it definitely will be straighter than when it was in its natural state. And I'm probably not going to do like a really good job because I'm horrible at flat ironing my hair, among other things. Um... My aunt was always a beautician, so I really didn't have to learn how to do hair because she always did my hair. But, you know, now since I'm in another state, um, I no longer have that luxury. And at one point when I moved um, to Texas, I was going home pretty regular um, to get my hair done. Uh, and believe me, I would make that hairstyle last. And I noticed since moving to Texas, the water is much harder uh, than the water in Mississippi, uh, which also contributed to some of my hair loss. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get my hair done up and I'll get back with y'all. <laughs> told me your hair is your glory so any amount of hair I lose is really disheartening but yeah that's how much hair I shed it um I think it's probably been about two to three weeks since I probably did a real deep deep condition and just combing my hair all the way out but yeah y'all that's it life goes up and it goes down I know my mom taught me